My name is Mark Payne and uh, I am a digital film student at the Art Institute of Seattle. Also, I am a comic book artist. It is, um, it is a graphic novella series by the name of Interstellar Agent. And it's about a uh, secret agent from another planet and another star system uh, within our Milky Way. My influences uh, for that are It Takes a Thief, UFO, uh, The Man from Uncle, Diabolic, and a whole bunch of other uh, iconic figures from the 1960s, spy genre, science fiction, that type of thing. Um, I mixed a combination of those different things, taking a bit of ingredients from each one of those and uh, put them all together and they became one figure. Um, I did that as a matter of uh, character development. The character, his personality traits, uh, his adventures, even the story behind it. Why I study filmmaking? Well, I started off uh, at the uh, Illinois Institute of Art for my bachelor's major in visual communications. I did start off doing that because I can draw well. I've been drawing ever since I was about five years old. But I was also interested in the filmmaking aspect. I always have been ever since I was about maybe nine or ten years old because I always wanted to see what it would look like if it was on the big screen. What got me started on the comic book thing was um, my cousin, my older cousin, he bought me some comic books. Um, I was about maybe two or three years old. He just brought some comic books in and he said, here, take a look at these. I was like, okay. <laughs> so then I looked and, I, and immediately when I saw the covers of those, I just immediately just said, yes, I want to take a look at this. Didn't understand what I was reading, but you know, you follow the, the panels, the pictures and everything, and you just drew, got interested in it. So that's what I did. So three to four to five years old, it was like my biggest thing. It's a throwback and a feel of the old 60s Cold War spy thrillers and all the other knockoffs that came along, you know, from like foreign countries like Italy and Spain and Mexico and uh, basically Euro cinema. But I, I like that style and I try to incorporate a little bit of that into my own work. I also have a um, Facebook page and it has the sample pages of my graphic novella series in it. Well, I call it a graphic novella series as opposed to comic book series because the word comic book or comics, uh, immediately you think of being funny, uh, humorous, silly, uh, satirical, um, basically uh, jokes. And uh, clearly the work that I do is very serious. Um, it's not to be taken like in a joking manner, to be mean-spirited or anything like that. I mean, there might be some satire, but it's basically just reflecting what's going on in the world and the world of the, from back then as well. Since the Cold War has been over for quite some time, the, the spy genre is basically no more. So, I mean, there's no reason to even produce any more spy movies or spy TV shows because that is passe now. Because we're no longer at war with that other side. But I decided, well, since we can't maintain it here on Earth, why not on another planet somewhere? Old school flavor, old school ingredients. Um, I utilize all of that stuff. Um, and I combined that with gothic horror, gothic sci-fi horror. 
it's, it's an ongoing series uh, for as long as I can come up with some stories. But uh, the best way to come up with the stories that I feel for this particular series is to look up old Cold War spy stories and use them as examples and then try to implement them into my storyline. Space. This may all be happening right now.